Hi everyone. So Mike wanted to do our um, little weekly video. And so he's sitting there counting his cash while I'm saying hello. And uh, Listen, don't listen to her. She's the one who wanted to do this video. I'm just along for the ride. You done? Yeah. So anyway. Hi Frank, how are you? Hi Joanna. See, I say hi to people because... Hi everybody. Don't act like you're you're all you care now. Shut up. Rachel Varmulin, hi. Hi, Carol Bame. Guys, I'm sorry I didn't say hi earlier. Hi, Troy. Um, it, I, it was a lot of fun with the truck. And then, like, so um, I just had to uh, send um, a picture of our family to the Trump campaign. They want Pennsylvania businesses, uh, pictures who support him, and I don't know who supports him as much as this place does because we're really going against the grain we're under fire but we don't care it's all good but anyway um hi terry hi vicky so anyway we had fun so someone dropped off a truck and they said you can keep it for a week and you can drive it and he's like it's insured but you know mike i was thinking like we don't know this guy there could be freaking drugs in the back like we don't know we really don't know. Well, actually, I mean, we know. We can see the back of the bed, but but anyway. Just remember, guys, if someone... Mike doesn't like when you touch him. ...decides to not love you the Ew, next morning... oily. ...a $100 bill that is, a, is a $100 bill. Such a stupid saying. No. It's stupid. It's real and it's true. It's retarded. Yeah, sure. Among many other things. You keep thinking that. And if you love your mother, you'll give it to me. And if you love your sister, the only sister you have, who puts up with a lot of your BS, you ought, you ought to be sending me for massages, pedicures, manicures, Atlantic City. I mean, who puts up with you as much as I do? Me. Let me see your phone. Get out of here. It's none of your business. Yeah. If you love your stepdad, yeah. you can meet Although, you hear that? Give your stepdad 50. All right, Sky. Hi, Sky Pie. That's my beautiful niece. Whoa. Once, what does that say? Once Doug finds out that you have that truck, you know he will be calling you for a ride. Oh, by the way, uh, Matt Foltz, which is the organizer of um, the, well, he's our new awesome friend. Shout out to Matt. Is this mine? Well, I hope so. You're going to put your lips on it. You didn't drink out of it, did you? Oh, this one, germaphobe over here. Really? Real germaphobe? Who were you kissing the other day? Oh, that's okay. You just met her. You don't know nothing, so be quiet. Don't act like you're all, like, prim and proper now, and you care where your mouth is going. Don't worry about who I kiss, okay? So anyway, uh, Matt Foltz wants a ride in the Trump truck. That should be a thing this week. If you want to ride in the Trump truck, Mike will take you. Eh, maybe not. That could be a liability, no? I got to talk to the owner first. He doesn't care. He left it here. Why are you saying that everybody can get a ride? I, I got to talk to the guy first. We got to make sure you we're doing things You don't need to legit. talk to the guy. I talked to the guy. And he said. Do you have his number? Yes, I do. I don't know where I put it, though. <laughs> All I know is we have the keys. As long as you drive it. Put he didn't say that. He dropped the keys off. He goes, "Here you go, you guys." Can you show my picture? I do for you guys for a week. Did Joanne Gala Dodge do a picture for us? Who? I don't know. It says, "Can you show my picture?" I do for you guys. I don't know who's that. Can you show my picture that I do for you guys? What's up, Barry? Yeah, I don't know the picture. You know the picture? No. I know the picture that the family dropped off today. Yeah. Am I missing something, Joanna? Bar Barry Shirk, where have you been? We miss you. I haven't seen you. All right, Terry, the website for my salsa is www.thesaucefella.com. That's T-H-E dot, I'm sorry. That's T-H-E-S-A-U-C-E-F-E-L-L-A. -E 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 if you just Google Goomba sauce, I come up everywhere. Oh, you're so popular. Well, we are. Popular for being a dope. <laughs> hey, this is Mike Mike Dano. Remember him? He was the guy with the red shirt. He was the yes. one of the organizers. Yes, He's yes, a cool yes. dude. Hey, Mike, how are you? Hi, Shannon, how are you? Sharing is caring. Uh, Mike ain't sharing with nobody. 
All right, let me see here. I made you a picture. God, which one is, uh, there's so much going on. Is it the house? The watercolor? The can rainbow? you refresh my recollection? I used to work for an attorney and she used to say, can you refresh my recollection? Vicky, have you spoken to Vicky lately? You talking to me? Yeah. Am I talking to you? Mm. Why don't you get off your phone? You're being rude. Vicky about what? Never mind. Who's Vicky? Oh, the kids are at Pietro's house. Okay. Wrong. All right. Had to pick up my daughter, so I did drive by. You know, when people do that, I'm like, do they love us or hate us? <sighs> what are you tired from, Mike? Late night, Mikey Poo. Treat your favorite sister. I'm his only sister. All right, Mike. Mike, pay attention, Mike. What's up, everybody? People don't get on here to watch you on your phone. Sorry, I had to pay attention. Yeah, enough with the girl. If you're not going to give the name up, just don't even, like, don't even text her when I'm around. Because it's, it's freaking rude. You don't get the name because I you know. Act like you're hiding a princess. I know my really? family. Hello. I know my family, and it's an, on a need to know yeah, basis. Yeah, bull crap, because everything that goes on in my life, you need to know. That's different. Oh, really? Yes. Different, my butt. Barry says he misses us. Barry's awesome. Come in. Even if you don't want to eat, come in and say hello. Where's the wine? Where's the wine? That's for Mike and his Chiquita it's banana. It's in my trunk. It's in my trunk, Marcus. Hey, Jim. How are you? It's in his trunk. It's in the back seat like you're going to The gonna one with the dogs on it, Joanna. I love the, the brother the and sister there. fights. You guys are amazing. Oh, thank you. It's actually real, which is scary. You two are great on these lives. Thanks, Mike. You guys are funny. Treat her well. Treat who well? Your sister. Hello. Listen, I treat her well. I don't know what she's talking about. Yeah, my, yeah. Anybody who comes in here knows that you're mean to me. And that's the truth. I'm not mean. I am trying to give you good leadership, which every woman. I'm 44. If you haven't given me good leadership by Which now, every woman needs from a good guy. Don't give me that look. I don't think I need leader. This is why a woman doesn't need her. This is why she leaves her father's house when she's an adult. Because she right. doesn't need him. She's anymore. looking for a man that is a good leader like her father. It's true. And a man is looking for a good leader like his mother. It depends. Do you know that when a man looks for a wife, he looks for his mother in that wife? And when a woman marries a man, she looks for her father in that man. Where do you get your logic? All right, everybody chime in. Is that true or false? True or false? I give you 50 bucks right now if most people don't say true. No no doubt. Say it. true or false. And I'm, I know I'm right. I'm starting to get irritated. Yeah, what else is new? That don't take much. You think this is like Dr. Phil. It's not. It's not Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil would kick your butt off the stage. Dr. Phil would wind up losing his show to me because I wouldn't put up with his BS. <laughs> Dr. Phil is awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch. Yeah. You want to know? You want this? You want to know everything about a man? Watch the way he treats his wife. And remember this: if you want to know if a man is going to be a good husband, watch the way he treats his mother. Because that is an indication of how he will treat his wife. And that's the truth. There might be some truth no, to no, that. No, 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 no. There's all truth in that. There might be bull, some bull crap. truth to that. That's, that's bull. And you know it. Don't give me the Dr. Phil crap. Listen, Dr. Phil is a good man. Here we go. Here There's two we go. people that I want to meet. Number one is Trump. Number two is Dr. Phil. And you know why? Because they're both good guys. Now, Dr. Phil is phenomenal. Listen, I disagree with you. What I think you know? I think that Dr. Phil would want to meet me. Fix Mike up with a nice Catholic girl. <laughs> I dated a nice Catholic girl back in the day. She wasn't too nice. Oh, she cheated. Let me tell you. Yeah, no, she... no, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. Don't mention that. Mention other things i'm not mentioning which we're not getting into i'm not mentioning her so name, i don't want to hear but it but she cheated yeah true 
That is not the point. It doesn't matter if it's the point, it's the truth. I can't believe where this conversation has gone. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> stop mentioning the good Catholic girls because some of them are not too good, meaning they want to get a little crazy. Now, I'm not complaining about that part, but don't come off like they're these little goody two-shoe girls. My point was they're not goody two-shoe. Okay. But because you think everyone's out to attack you, you took it as an attack. Because that's just how you are. No, no, no. Mike you're, always thinks he's under attack. You're he's wrong. Got to get aggressive right away. I sh we should be men as we should be aggressive, because a, a lot of the men in this country now have been castrated. I agree with you. By this feminist movement. I agree. And I'm not putting up I with agree. it. I agree. Well, and there to you me, go. It's sexy when a guy is alpha male. That's right. That's hot as hell. That's what I'm talking That's about. That's true. You see? That's true. You do know some good Absolutely. things. Shut the hell up. In the bedroom, outside the bedroom, when you're doing this and when you're doing that, alpha male, hands down, is sexy as hell. No doubt. Well, no uh, woman wants a little pussycat guy. That's that's not. And, I don't and you like know that. what? Kudos to you. You are woke in this area. Thank you very much. <laughs> However, let me ask you this. Do you like a woman who's like, oh, Mikey, Mikey, what do you want to do tonight? What do you want for dinner? Or do you want one that's like, yo, baby, what the hell you want to eat for dinner? Now tell me, be honest. No, listen, you got to take leadership. You got to be like, this is where we're going. This is what we're going to do. We are the captain and or the pirate or a combination thereof. Leadership, leadership, leadership. Say it again, Mike. Leadership. <laughs> so he says it again. What a dope. No, it's true. There's not enough men. It real, is very real true. Real men. It it's is very true. true. It's true. It is very however, true. however, and I need to mention this, many men have dropped the ball when it comes to the household. Mm -hmm. They let the woman lead. It's not God's design. So you got a household that's upside down and it's a freaking mess. The man's supposed to lead the family. How you know? Yep. Oh, my God, he agreed with me. And the oh. woman should submit. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because you lose a lot of women when you say this. When the, when the Bible talks about the woman submitting, that is not when he's being a tyrant. I never Remember, said that. That's when he's led I by God. I never said that. Not being a horse's behind and being nasty and mean and this, this, and that. That's in a biblical sense. Remember that. Basically, the guy's got to know how to lay it down. Yeah, but not in an idiotic and in a, and not in a aggressive, like, narcissist way. Well, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Narcissism has no room in a relationship or in a marriage. A little bit of narcissism no, is no, good. It's no, healthy. No, no, it's not. And it keeps things real. Cool. Narcissism is cockiness, and women don't want that. They want a leader, but they don't want a narcissist. I think you can be cocky, narcissist, and uh, confident you all at the same no, time. Listen, you got no action going on in your bedroom if you're a narcissist to your wife. That's it. And that's true. Yeah, well, speak for yourself. Really? You're talking to me now. Hello. And you're talking to uh, me. Shut up. That's right. Shut up. I'm, now, not, I'm not your everyday chump. I know what's going on. Yeah. Shut yeah, up. Yeah, that's right. You talk all big. You don't make big me get the cigars out. Oh, don't get that out. They stink. Get one out. You're good. You know what? I got to say, I think your cigar smells better than that truck because that truck stinks. Yeah. I don't know. Something. I you like, need an oil like, change or uh, something. I, like I don't know. Cigar or pipe. This guy used to come in my grandmother's. Um, this is when you were allowed to smoke inside. And he, do you remember him, Dan? He used to bring the Anna's cigars. They were good. What are you laughing at? I used to smoke the Anna's cigars. No, 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 Mike. You're just as confused as Levine. Oh. There we go. Andy you. says it. Your little sister is busting your rice it's balls. It's true. That's true. I know a good man when I see one. And that's why I'm single. It's very hard to find a good man. I should not be single. I am because there are not many good men out there. 
I want a Christian guy. I want a guy who prays with me. I want a guy who's loyal. I want a guy who doesn't have wandering eyes for other women. I want a God-fearing man. Where are they? Where are they? They're not born. They're not around. They're not born yet. No, They're, that's listen, why people are listen, single. Listen, listen, listen. Don't, don't talk like this, okay? You shut up. This they're, is what they're, a woman wants. They're out there. You just got to look. We don't want the look. GQ and the one that looks at every piece of you know what that walks by. We want a good man. Who says one that? that's of got course. self control. You're, you're yelling. And fears God. You're, you're yelling in my ear, okay? Well, this is something I'm passionate about. So go get an earplug in your right ear. <laughs> wow, I don't know where this video has gone. Jeez. It's gone. Yeah. I'm just telling you, I'm passionate about these things. My son, I've raised my son the way a godly man should be raised. And let me tell you something. Some woman is going to get very lucky with him. He's alpha male. He prays. He provides for the woman. He's a good man. And he has self-control. That's what we need to be raising. What are we raising? Oh, the father's proud when the kid sleeps around. Oh, that's nice. You ought to be embarrassed. I don't want to have self-control sometimes. Really? You know, Mike, no. you're really starting to tick me off. I'm just saying. Because, you know, you need to get back to your roots. Sometimes it's nice to lose control. Oh, you're so stupid. <laughs> yeah. You're so stupid. That's right. <laughs> lose control. Why don't you lose control when you're in a relationship? Well, you can oh, do that not, too. Oh, really? Well, you ain't saying that. You're losing control because you've been locked down for 20-something years. So now you're having fun. I get it. Don't worry. It gets old. Been there, done that. Promise you, it gets old. So Lori says, need to regroup and focus on your purpose. Uh, this is my purpose. Talking sense into people like this. That's my purpose. I got all the sense I need. Don't yeah, worry about sense. me. Everybody knows, but I will go along and we'll make a little fun video My here. My blood pressure right now, like I could feel it, it's a little high. It's Why? Because because that, those are there's some passionate subjects going on here, and they're very close to my heart. True. You see, my Goombas, this is what I got to work with over here every day, every day. I am day. very level-headed. Thank God for the day off because I might wind up in the asylum. All right, let's read, let's, read some, let's read some stuff. I got good sense, and that's the truth. And you can say whatever you want. Needle in a haystack. But you know what? They're out there, Marie. <sighs> They're out there. But if you settle, you're never going to find it. Did, Did you, you like Joanna's picture that she brought you? What? I don't know. I, we what we don't know about the picture. We forgot. I don't know what she means. What picture? I got a picture that somebody drew of Taste of Sicily. Are we talking about that picture? I don't know. Wow. Got more nasty postcards today. I got five now. Exactly, Christine. We don't want to play boy or mama's boy, and especially no confused man. <laughs> nah. Yeah, forget it. No, she has got to deal with Mike. Ooh, but you love her. Yes, he does. I'm with you, Christine. See? It was entertaining today listening to you today. Thank you. What's that, Barry Shirk? He's Italian. They are hard-headed. Well, most of them are. And that's why I never got involved with an Italian, just so you know. And that's the truth. See, I don't look at it as hard-headed. I look at it as we are men that pretty much know what we want. And that's it. That's no, it. No, hard-headed means you cannot reason with your partner, and that's bad. That's bad. It depends. You need to compromise. You need to reason. You never compromise somebody good gets, principle. Somebody always gets pulled over right there all the time. You never compromise good, solid principle. Nope, that's different. I'm not talking about that. You don't compromise principles. That's true. If the chick ain't with it, forget it. Anyway, whatever. You know, you, you, whatever. You just, Whatever. It's about freedom, exactly, Christine. Yeah, see, see, people are siding with me, not you. That's all right. They they have their opinion about stuff. That's I'm not, not gonna. That's not opinion. That's called. I'm not gonna wisdom. fight with that. You wisdom. know, if if what they want to do or does works, great. You know. Yeah. Anyway. What I'm doing works. Yeah, for a season, you'll get sick of it. That's not true. You don't even Sexy know what I'm into. Sexy alpha women are needed too. I really? agree. I agree with that. You think so? Tug, I see. I agree with that. I agree. All right, let's elaborate. What do I you agree. Mean by that? How I, can yes. you have two two alphas together? That would be. 
I mean, I guess it could work. No, no, I'm telling you, the 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 um the way I see it is uh if you got a good tough listen, our mom, she's a, a tough alpha female. <laughs> I'm telling you guys. Look at Dan, Dan's over there. You like, know what? She's tough right then. If you get with an alpha female, I'm telling yeah, you. I know. Sexy is a whole new thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. She's strong, alpha woman, my mom. But she's had to be. She was forced to be. Tug says, got to find a good chick with rice balls. Yeah. Oh, boy. Can that, that sounds confusing. Oh, no, no, no. I know what he means. He means, like, alpha knows what she wants. You know, a good, tough girl. You know, there's a tough guy, there's a tough girl. I think women really only know what they want, like, later in life. I do. I know that what what I look for in a man now at 44 is not what I looked for in a man when I was 20. 20. Mr. Mike, take a picture of it. I'm confused yeah, about the picture. Now, well, you, you're going to you get more baggage. Because yeah. as, you, as you go along in life, you pick up more baggage. You don't get rid of all that junk you got inside. And what see, I, I see, I see. I totally disagree. I totally disagree. What a shock! You never oh, agree. Yeah. I totally you disagree know. because no, no, no. Huh? Listen, listen, listen. Nothing is harder as you get older. It's all about your mindset and being pliable and understanding and in being able to change. Like a boxer, bob and weave with the punches. You're none of those. Yeah, that's that's You're what not you pliable think. At yeah, all. yeah, 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 yeah. Pliable. That's because you. are my sister, and that you only see me as your brother. That's all. You ain't. It's pliable. about it's about the keeping the open mind and being able to change with the times. And that baggage is an excuse because when you grow and you learn and you mature, you get rid of the I baggage. Agree. I agree. You Nobody get, wants baggage. You get rid of the baggage. Yep, I agree with you. You don't hold on to it. You get rid you of it. Clean that you stuff. realize your mistakes and whatever it was you were carrying, and you drop them off, and you say, see ya. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. Mike, you you definitely though. I gotta say, since you're divorced, you're like ultra alpha male. You see, now you're speaking what you're seeing. You were whipped before. Let's not forget. <laughs> Let's not you were forget. Whipped. Yeah. No, you were a nice husband. You were. The old Mike is dead and buried, like Post Malone says in <laughs> "Over Now." That's right. The old Mike is dead in a mother effing body bag, and he ain't ever coming back. That's right. Till this chick whips you. I went back to the beginning of who Mike was in the beginning. That's right. Yeah. Wow. Anyway. They didn't cancel. Molto bene. Yes, they did. Monday. There we go. Let me check my phone now. Yeah, check your chick. You just got done telling me you ain't whipped. Check your phone, Mike, because you're whipped. Oh, my God. Am I missing something? Yeah. Sexy, tough girl that knows what she wants. You need a redneck girl. <laughs> there you go, Mike. Mike, you could go hunting with a girl, and you could go fishing, and you could go deer spotting, and... Um, you could go yeah, still on vacation to strawberry on patches. Vacation. Don't be looking at my phone. What can I do? I heard my name. Even Wonder Woman needs a Superman. That's true. Number one That's thing. That's right. Listen, listen to Matt, because Matt's a good guy. Number one thing that attracted me to my wife was that she didn't need me independent. She didn't need she me. Didn't need she me. was independent. Yes, yeah. yes. That's sexy. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Mike, take. Oh, uh, never mind. All right. Are we ready? There needs to be a balance. Yeah, that's true. There needs to be a balance, all right. Horizontal balance.
mic is a bit too intense. I'll agree with that, Jessica, totally. I'll second that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Goombas. that's right. Goomba's original Haha, ha, the face your sister makes while you talk. Crack me up. <laughs> oh, I just got a message. No, no, no kidding. Oh, yeah. Amelia said she's wearing her Goomba shirt to bed tonight. She likes being a Goomba. Oh, it's so cute, Marcus. Who said that? Marcus is Marcus said that about his daughter. Oh, that's so sweet. Cute. All right, so. Hey, I'm wearing my Goomba shirt. You're not going to wear it to bed. No. Well, you close She's that up real fast. Mike, why don't you come over? I'm wearing something sexy for you. What's up, girl? Oh. I just got your message. You need to give that. Yeah, you got to give up the name. I ain't giving them nothing. Mike. There, there we go. go. Sorry about that. The phone flopped. The guy's wearing a mask? No, like a, like oh, a, a no. mask. Not a mask, like a face mask. Like a... Uh, yeah. Face Okay. Mike's texting a chick. Let me do something important, because he's not doing anything important. Chris, if you were seeing somebody, you know Mike would want Oh, forget it. Him? Oh. Who is he? Where is he? How old is he? What does he do? Blah, blah, That's because I'm your big brother. That's a bunch of crap. I asked him 10 million questions. Mike? Yeah, but one day he'll spill the beans. Yeah, yeah you know Mike. Well, he's probably been introducing everybody. He ain't introducing anyone right now. His kids will go nuts. I forgive that. It's up to the Lord. Got it. Yes, Jen, I got it. Okay, the girl, there, the girl um, that um, gave us a picture of the puppies, the puppies. Remember, she's she, she's like, here, I did this for you guys. Yeah, but where is it? It's in the back. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I gotta post it. I gotta post. There's so many kids' cards and oh my god. So By the way, girl, it was very nice hanging out with you yesterday. You know, we don't need to hear that crap on here. Seriously? No, we just hung out. It was a nice time yeah, together. Yeah, we don't need to hear that. What do you mean? Hear what? I, we, you don't even know what we did. See? She's assuming. You're my brother. She's assuming. We got the same bloodline. Listen. I know what you nah, did. No, 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 no. Mike, shut up. We're honestly getting to know buddy. each other. That's it. It's, yeah, but you're talking about all this. It's so professional. Exactly. Hey, wait a minute. You talk about all this in the open. It's professional. Like, That's right. Tell him, Dan. Tell him, yeah, Dan. That's it. Everything in the open about That's her. right. So I think oh, you seem you Dan. seem a little mad that I'm keeping things on the down low. Yeah, because no, you're like it's a secret. That's but I'm okay. Hey, 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 relax. Tell him, Dan. Tell him. Chill out. Just it's okay. Listen to your stepfather. Show the in your mouth. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the business. It is the business page. Oh my I'm God. I'm your rice balls, Mike. Oh my goodness, what a day. What a day, what a day, what a day. I like, I like working with Mike. Mike's cool. So, we all know what assuming does, right? Mike's cool. Anyway, girl, it was cool hanging out yesterday. And, uh, and well, you know, I have to do it again sometime Mike, soon. Mike, shut up. Listen, let's talk about <laughs> something important, not something you, you're, you're in the phase right now. All right, so listen. Listen to this. She says phase. It's a phase. I've been there. I've done that. Phases are for teenagers. Yeah, and you're acting like a teenager. I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm acting like the man that you're I am. You're acting like a teenager with no self-control. So listen up for a second. Oh, I got plenty of self-control. Plenty. Mm. Plenty. Anyway, guys, we had an amazing day today. Well, I lower that, man. From 12 o'clock until... What are we doing? We're, we're actually... We're, we're on the business page. So I want to I wanna talk about the business. All right, so go ahead. Hurry up because I got to go. Where you gotta go? I have to. I want to go home. I do. I have to sleep. <laughs> so anyway. See, unlike my sister, I value a good night's sleep. So, I do too. for me, I get a good solid seven to eight hours most of the time. Most six, and eh, it's a little light. Seven or eight. So you know what time is it? It's, uh, I sleep. Ten twenty nine. I sleep. They try to say I don't sleep. And you don't get enough sleep. Do you live with me? How do you I, I know? I can tell because you're you're just tired at times. Really? I got a lot on my mind. Like you don't understand. It's constant. 
I got a lot on my mind too. No, 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 no. I'm on a different level than you. We've already established oh, this. Oh, sure. You don't deal with the, the other stuff. I deal with the media. I deal with, I got to make sure everyone is, you know, um, I touch base with everybody. Who yeah, out. she doesn't deal with the media. I'm, I'm dealing with the media all the time. No, what are you talking you're dealing about? With a, I'm dealing with like the really important stuff. Like, you know, yeah, you talk to the news here and there. I got to like... It's important to me to get back to everybody. That's that's like, you know, that's very important to me. You 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 do the Mickey Mouse stuff of the business, like, hi, you know, news is here. That's just like an extra. But anyway, look look at Jen. He's got to go swap spit with his curl. <laughs> Who? I don't know. Jen said that. That's funny. Any upcoming events? Sister is right. Jen. I am getting tired though. So I'm gonna He's get going. He's gotta go shortly. swap spit with over. Anyway, so the business was extremely, extremely busy. Like we we're always busy now, but I mean this was like double. Like I'm beat. I'm just beat. I already told my family, come fall, I want to shut down for a week. I need, I need, like I need a week off. Like seriously, I want to take my son. We're going away for four days, and I'm shutting the phone down. That means you cannot call me unless it's an emergency. And you meeting a chick is not an emergency. Remember that. You know, you got mom's nose. And she's got grandpa's nose. And what are you saying? Is that a bad thing? That's my mom. I didn't say it was a bad thing. I just said you have her nose. He's got your nose. You messed up your nose in boxing. I think it looks fine. But I'm just saying, you messed it up a little bit. Well, Did whatever. Did you say he has a boxing nose? Yes. He's got that, what do you have, yeah, deviated septum that. or whatever. I had that fixed. Yeah, then you, I always go. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> he does. He goes. <laughs> I don't know. I can't handle any of that tonight. I don't know. I don't know. What? What's the Ma, stop. That's like, this family got a lot of problems. Anyway, so. Kimberly Martin says, Buonanotte. 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 I mean, she's Buonanotte. leaving. Buonanotte. Your whole family should close for a week. Yeah, that's coming. Definitely. And I'm going away for four days. Buonanotte. I'm going to take my son, and we're out of Pennsylvania. I make sure I go to a state that's maskless. Dan, do you know Atlantic City's open? Did yeah, I know they're open, but you can only have takeout for dinner. You can't eat dinner. Let me ask you a question. If you ha if you hold on to a drink the whole time, you don't need to wear a mask, right? So Jamie Papara but Butzer says the I'll girl from the bank. Yeah, really no, Jamie, not the girl from the bank. Tug, <laughs> Tug, booty call. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Matthew Fultz, I love the intensity, Mike. Oh, my God. Russ Rosa, you causing problems, Mike? All the time, Russ, all the time. Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, I can't believe, can you imagine going to the steakhouse and you got to take it out and eat it outside? You can't sit there. You know, we had some customers tonight. You know what they said to me? What's that? Listen. Listen. They said they came here because, and this is just ridiculous. Yeah. They said that the other places that are open... When you walk in the door and you walk to your table, you got to have a mask on. Ugh. Why are people listen? Why are business owners listening? Why? Because they don't want to make money. I mean, why? Well, how can you listen to stupid all, stuff like that? I heard they're all refusing them. They want them to I would never do that. No. Never. Well, I'm saying a fine steakhouse. How like, disgusting to no, treat your customers like that. Yeah. Like the and you can't sit in there. You got to take it out. That's ridiculous. Well, okay, but that's different. That's only takeout. I, I kind of get that. Yeah, but you don't want to do that. You no, do I'm that. not going to Atlantic City until I can go to Christian's favorite restaurant and we can have a, a meal. Sit down, not to take it out. No, I'm not. We're going to take that's a steak tacky. to go. It that's tastes tacky. terrible. Well, it, it is tacky. Very tacky. Yeah, yeah. This whole thing is tacky. <laughs> so where are you going to go? I don't know yet. I don't know. 
I'm not sure, but it may be... just saying that Fauci had to do with creating the virus. Well, but that doesn't surprise me. Nothing yeah. surprises me anymore. They said that before. Yep. What a joke. What a joke. Yeah, I think Trump is just waiting around for all the, the truth. I'm waiting for Trump to start cracking his whip on these protests. I can't wait. Oh, God, I can't wait. On a serious note, a little birdie told me that once Trump wins November 3rd, 4th, then the indictments and the arrests start. Oh, I can't wait me for that. Too. I cannot uh, wait. Me too. On a very serious note, my Goombas, I cannot wait for that. Indictments and arrests. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. People who gave me fines. Cannot are, wait for that. Cannot all wait. All the people who gave us fines are getting fired. So that's going to be awesome too. You know that. Oh, no. I'm going to say it. That's okay. It's already out there. They should get fined. Absolutely. Or they should get fired. They're just doing their job. That's bull. That's bull. Good, good for them. I can't wait. You treat people like that. You should get fired. So anyway, everyone, we had an amazing day. It was extremely busy, extremely. Um, thank you for your support. Let me read, let me say hello to some of you beautiful people. I'm beat. Wow. All right, Mike, I'm going to say hello and then I'm going to get off because like I got to get home. I'm, I'm beat. All right. Um, yeah. Yeah, we are going to close. I think every... My mom it won't go away because she never goes away. Michael probably won't go away, but I'm going to go away. Two. Thanks, Cindy. And who said I'm not going away? You're not going to... You know what? You never go away. She is going to treat me and we're going to go away. Where are you going? Hollywood. It's right up the road. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let mama take that's care of me. That's not a that's not a getaway. I'm letting mama take care of me. You two should go to Vegas. Seriously. This one over here you is. You gotta in. get somebody to take care of the dog though. Yeah, that's okay. All right, good good luck finding a state that's maskless. Yeah, I I'll find no no no. There's a lot of them that are maskless. Where? We've had we've had no someone saying it. No no, we've had people come in here and tell me that that that. Man, man, you know, out of all the states that we that are we've got the worst governor. They said we've got the most tyranny here. Is it not something? Hmm. Wow, that's crazy, right? Nancy no no, that's Nancy Pelosi's family through marriage, Mr. Wolf. Really? Yes. What? They're related. Yeah, Apple didn't fall far from the tree. I didn't know that. Yeah, that who, who, crooked who, and crooked. Who did Governor Wolf marry? L look it up. Look it up. I really? don't know. Yeah, uh, one clown family married another clown. One corrupt family married into another corrupt. Birds of a fle feather flock together. Wow. Yep. I'm gonna get going though. I gotta go. I'm tired. I gotta get going. Okay. All right. So I'll say goodbye. Bye. That's you. All right, see you, my Goombas, in another video. I hope you enjoyed this. I mean, it was just kind of like a fun video, and uh, we were just kind of hanging loose and just talking some funny stuff. But um, on a serious note, when Trump does win the presidency again, I can't wait for the indictments and the arrest to take place. A little birdie told me that. That's all I'll say. But, oh, yeah, I can't wait for that. That's another reason they don't want him to win. Because when he wins, uh, he's going to be going after some people. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's gonna, Can't wait. It's gonna Can't wait. It's going to get crazy. Oh, it's yeah. going to get crazy. Okay, yep. Dan the Man is coming in the hot seat just for a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. See you, Mike. Right, see you, Dan, do you know how to give a massage? Well, I'll tell you what. When I give my wife a massage, I give it to her for about a minute, and she says, Dan... You're not rough enough. So I, I am not good <laughs> that at... That doesn't sound I am good. not good at massages. That sounds Definitely very not. bad. You're not rough no enough. I am no good. No good at all. Sorry, Chris. Can you try? I can try. All right, try. Okay. Try, Dan. You just got to be strong. Oh, stronger, Dan. Stronger. I got, a, I got arthritis in my that. hands. He oh, wears man. that one time. Dan, Dan, you're bad. Okay, okay, okay I'm good. I'm sorry. I got more pain now. 
Oh man, Ma, I pity you. I have arthritis in my hands. He wears out the whole spot. Jeez, look at my hair. Oh my god. Chris, you're talking about maskless areas. Where? Um, uh, Florida. What do you mean, Florida? Florida? No, no. Hey, it, wait, a, is it that, Florida? No, I don't know. Not Florida. Well, I gotta look. I gotta look. Mm -hmm. All right, I think <laughs> I think Hawaii is maskless. I'm not going there. Mm, hey, Ange, so. how are you? Yeah. All right, Disney just put a rule out that you can't walk and eat. <laughs> Man, this is this is ridiculous. It's so it's laughable. It's laughable. Yep, they must think the virus can't get you if you walk. Does that also mean you can't walk and talk? Or the mask rules are BS. Absolutely, Colleen Henderson. Henderson. It seems like it's getting worse. I was the only person today without a mask in the grocery store. We are maskless. This is a pandemic, absolutely. Pandemic against Trump. Crack down on them cities, my Goombas, right? Yep. I love your hair. Ah, oh, thank you. They want to kill the economy. They're yeah. gonna end up killing and, the people. And you know, sad. and you know what's sad? You know what's sad? It's still not enough for this monster up here. Monster. It's ridiculous wearing masks because you don't know if a person is pissed off at you or not. I get, you know, you know what, what I mean? You, know you I, don't even know if they have teeth you know, and they can smile at do you. Do you know when I see someone with a mask, it scares me. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, they must be really sick. I yeah, know. yeah, I think that. I'm like, I man, know. what do they mask. got? What do they got? Yeah, no. I, I, I do. I think no. that. I mean, you can't tell when people are mad or happy or whatever, you know? Well, boogies are probably going right to the mask. I just think it, you did not I just, just think say it's that. A terrible thing. Wow, those guys from the state get fired. Yeah, they, they, they. Yeah, that's it's all in the making. Your hair is beautiful. Thanks, Kimberly. I'm gonna go. This lady says goodbye. Goodbye. Have a good night. Be careful driving home tonight. I will. Good night, guys. Says Jamie. Good night. They are rotten apples. They are. Did you hear that there is a PA senator trying to make masks law, says Colleen uh, Henderson. Even if it was law, I still wouldn't wear it. Give me a fine. Next is what the you, diaper. What are you going to do? Don't forget the diaper. <laughs> <laughs> could, you, could you imagine that? Is it, time, is it time to change your diaper? Well, something may be dripping out of it. You gotta, That's disgusting. You got to catch it. Oh. Just like the mask. That's so funny. You know, then we'll run out of depends. <laughs> I'm freaking tired. When I'm tired, I laugh a lot. <laughs> Could you imagine that? Chris, I can't find any depends giant. Could you go to Walmart and see if they have them? How about they start wearing diapers? <laughs> Ma, hold on a second. Let me put my mom on. Ma. <laughs> Talk about the diapers. Yes, they're coming out with new diapers. So you don't have any accidents. So, you know, like when you cough, your mask is gonna protect you because you never know if you have an accident. You have to have a diaper. That's gonna be law next. So I'm going to invest and I'm going to invest in the market and I will invest in buying diapers. Well, I am not going to wear a diaper because then instead of calling me Dapper Dan, you're going to call me Diaper Dan. <laughs> you know, stuff is getting so stupid that I'm sure that's on the horizon next. <sighs> you know? Wow, this is... I mean, this. you, you know, you, 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 you can't... You really, you know, it's true what Master. I'm ready to go home. It's true what Masteriano says. You can't make this stuff. I'm up. tired. Don't you think that, like, when we're wearing masks and all that, like, Wolf's probably like, look at these idiots. Every anything I say, I anything. It's like, you know, monkey see, monkey yeah. do. Simon says. Yeah. Wolf says. Well, yeah. I heard he went to the Jersey Shore. He was not wearing one. Yep. Somebody else. Wolf made that doesn't comment, belong yeah. at the Jersey Shore. Yeah. He belongs at the zoo. At the zoo. You mean the Jersey Zoo? The Bronx Zoo. The Bronx Zoo is huge. I've been there. You know, I went there and the lady stole my stroller. 
And that's also, a, that's Levine, a true story. She stole Le my stroller. Levine belongs there too. Yeah, that's a whole nother one there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, you gotta love, you, yeah, you gotta love freedom of speech because we can still say this stuff. You can't make this stuff up. Yeah, like Mastriano always says, you can't make this stuff up. I have to see with the monkeys. I call them muzzles because they can't hear. Yeah, they sound like. <laughs> Remember when we had the plexi glass up? So now you go listen to this, guys. You're gonna laugh at this. I'm getting silly because I'm tired. So this one guy came in, and this is when this whole this whole stupid stuff started, and we had the plexi glass up. Now we ripped everything off because now we know it's all you know not true. But we filed for a little bit. You know, we had to appease the governor. The governor, and so we had the the Pletsy glass up. So you already can't hear any anything that people are saying. Okay, so now we got a mask. So this guy came up to Michael and he was having a conversation with Michael, and this is the guy. And then the, you have the Pletsy glass, and then you have the the vent system, which our hood system is very loud. And you hear him. <laughs> you want what? <laughs> <laughs> so we're going under the plexiglass. We're like, huh? He's like, <laughs> it was terrible. And then I said to Michael, take the stupid thing down. Masks are coming off. This is ridiculous. We're looking like a bunch of idiots. But I want to ask you a, a question. I see, I see some people with uh, shields on. Oh, I saw now, that. Now, are the shields more comfortable? And can you get them at Walmart? I like talked a to a lady the other day at Hollywood Casino, and she said she got hers through Amazon, so I don't know. So do you want one? Would you wear one? Dan. No, I don't believe so. Ooh. I don't think I'm going to wear like one. It looks like a freaking welder mask. No, no, I, I don't think I want But I just want to make a point here. There was a fitness center. I'm not going to mention the name. I was on the treadmill and the gentleman told me to put my mask back on when I was on the treadmill. That's I thought awful. that was ridiculous. That's awful. I said, you're going to lose business. So I went to another fitness center in Lebanon. No mask. It was unbelievable. I felt so great in there, but I don't want to mention the name of it. But the one fitness center, forget it. They're going to lose a lot of business over that. If you're wearing a mask and you're on the treadmill i mean you can just faint or fall over there's a big lawsuit right there so i just want to mention that so to you. dan here's the plan mm -hmm. you go in there with the mask right mm -hmm. faint fall over i'll mm -hmm. make sure i come in behind you i catch mm -hmm. you whatever mm -hmm. and um we sue them and we we retire in the bahamas hey that's true that's great. But they got to have a slot machine there for Not me. Not a bad idea. Not but I like idea. gambling, so I got to have a slot machine there. So that's why I like going to Hollywood Casino and the Borgata. They're my places. I just can't help it. You know what's funny? I like when it. I leave the state, and, and you know, I've had many people say this. There's such an oppression in Pennsylvania. It's, it's, such, a, it's such a weird feeling. Mm -hmm. When you leave the state, you can feel like this. Yes. It just lifts. And then, yes. you know, Pedro used to say that. My ex-fiance used to say that mm. all the time. He's like, I don't know what it is, baby, but as soon as we get into Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. I feel this, this, it's a depression. And I'm yes. like, it's true. I agree because... But you know Lebanon Valley is actually in a valley. But I mean, when we used to go Maybe to... Maybe that's why. When we know. went to Atlantic City and... It's just more cheerful, like going through the city of it's Philly. True. and Even in Land New York, there's an energy. But, there's but a... then when you come to Lebanon, you start hearing the trains. That's and... because it's governed by Wolf. Well, nah, it's always been like that. No. He is the no. Pennsylvania's always well, been like that. The oppression. Pennsylvania's always been like that, Ma. Always. It's true. It's true. I don't know. I don't know what it is with the state. Like, when you go to New York, you feel this intense energy. It's a really good feeling. Mm -hmm. New York, I always feel good in. Now, now I don't. Now, I now I'm not happy with New York, though. You know, it's it it's bad. It's the really the wolf, the big bad wolf. I mean, you can blame him for some stuff, but I've always felt like that here. Yeah, but now I, I love Pennsylvania I agree. because the support has been amazing. I agree with Christine because there really isn't much to do around this area compared if you go, you know, to the city. I mean, I like Lebanon. But, um, you know, you know they course. say Lebanon's like the black hole. You can't get out. <laughs> hmm. Let's go. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, everybody's tired. Everybody's ready to go home. My feet are killing me. Your feet hurt. My feet feel good. And the man is going to say goodbye to everybody, and I love everybody. I make a cameo appearance. Here. here, Dan. Sorry. Oh. I make a cameo appearance once in a while, not too often, but um, I love everybody, all the fans, and uh, all you are great. Thank you. All right, everyone. Have a good night, and um, it's time to go home. I'll see I don't think it's going for rain. Uh, yeah, leave it. Yeah, leave it. That's fine. See these pretty umbrellas my mom bought? They're so pretty. No, it's not going for rain. Rain. Maybe it's good if it rains. It'll break the humidity, right? All right, everybody. Have a good night. I hope you enjoy. Oh. No, no, we close at 7 tomorrow night. God, God, we close at 7. Yeah. All right, everyone. Have an amazing night. Mike, I thought you went home. Yeah. You're hungry, right? I feel hungry now. Oh, I have a sub. All right, everyone. Have an amazing night. Um, love you guys. We're open till 7 tomorrow. And, uh, God, we're closed Monday. I can't wait. Oh, Mikey's eating cookies. Woo! Let's see how much lettuce I have. Give me one of those. Why are you putting them away? No, no, I want something salty. Oh, I don't want no sub. <laughs> I told her I'm going to look like a sub. <laughs> All right, everyone. Have Go a ahead. good night. Love you guys. Bye.